Okay, so here I'm going to show you a few of the different setups that I use. Um, so the anti-pcare ranged one is this. This is my setup. So for my inventory, I take an Avis accumulator, Robin Hood hat, Glory. Glory is very important. And I take Ruby Bolt, Armored of Crossbow, Monk's Rope Top, Book of Law, Myth Gloves, because the AGS switch, I want the strength bonus. Rock climbing boots again, AGS, and a recoil just to damage some damage back to either Callisto or the PK who's attacking me. And the, uh, my inventory goes four Sarabrews, three restores. Um, this is for escaping PKs mostly, uh, and it makes a really big difference, especially at high HP levels. It's very worth having, and this is to help fight back because the PKs tend to use smite. And so I definitely recommend if you've got anti PK gear or at least risk, definitely take the bruise and some restores. AGS is my anti PK, so I take super combat and stamina potion isn't a necessity, but it's very helpful when escaping. And if you're using the melee safe spot, it's more important than if you're using the range safe spot. And then the rest of my inventory is Karambuans and Sharks. Uh, this is because Callisto can hit 60 and he can hit 60 back to back, so you want to be able to eat very quickly to ensure you can stay alive. Um, so this is setup number one, and now I'll go into my set. Okay, so this is my second setup. Uh, this is for range only without any anti-PK. Um, so as you can see, I've got rid of the AGS for an archer's ring imbued. Um, this is actually better than taking a ranger's tunic, although I believe they're more or less the same. Uh, bonus in ranged. As in, leather body to ranger's tunic is the same as just adding an archer's ring eye. However, with this you get the plus five prayer bonus from the monk top, so it's slightly better. So this is the range setup and then the same inventory, except I've just got two more sharks instead of the super combat and AGS. Okay, so now I'm going to go over the melee setup. Um, there are two different ones I like to use. Firstly is this one. With, I'd take a BGS instead of an AGS normally. Um, Zerka Ring and Fire Cape as my three item. This is like the maximum strength one. And Amulet of Strength is good here. Um, alternatively, if you don't have a Fire Cape, you can take like a Torture and make this your, one of your items as well. Um, this one is my, um, how do I say, like, regenerative one. If you put a Hit Points Cape and a Regions Bracelet on, and then get rid of the berserkering. Then what you have here is you're gaining four hit points per minute, so you heal quite a lot in this method. Um, and then for teleporting, I'd either grab an amulet of glory for teleporting, or um, what I tend to do is take a slaring because these are free, <laughs> effectively, whereas a glory is not. So if I'm not equipping it. So you could take a glory like this if you want a one-click telly. Or if you're not using a berserker ring, I'd take this. But remember, this is a two-click teleport. So if you're using a slayer ring to teleport, you need to right-click telly and then spam any of the numbers on your keyboard, so like that. And you see I spam one, and then that's a one-tick teleport away. So that's basically the gear setups and the inventory setups that I would use. Um, so yeah, now I'm going to go into the actual lure itself. So I'll just show you how to get there now. So firstly, you want to break your Anakal telly like so. <laughs> and then you just run south from the Anakal telly to get there. I'm just imagining you fucking like running into a PK and team and go, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> So if you look at the map, you just come down from the demonic ruins, and the bear is here, so you run around that. And the stamina potion would be a good thing to bring as well, actually. Which I you run like this, though, prepare to be raped. <laughs> I forget to say that. Sometimes you're a right pain in the arm. Okay, so this world is taken, so I'm going to hop and go to a different world, and I'll be back there. Okay, so you run in, like so, very nearly. And attack Callista. And you run east. And wait 
just in front of this tree here and wait for Callisto to appear on this screen. Then you want to run to the left hand side of these rocks here. So you see Callisto there, you run down here. And Callisto can come with you out quite hard. So just make sure you eat and I'll eat up to full. Then you want to stand the step behind these rocks here. Like so. And Callisto will be stuck up here. Now this is Callisto done for the range safe spot. So for ranging, you just want to then run up here. And a cat, Callisto like so. And Callisto is completely safe spotted now. And then I'll show you the melee safe spot after. Okay, yeah. so then when Callisto gets to about 150 health, or just below, I tend to switch from ruby bolts to diamond bolts just because I find this to be slightly better. And obviously the ruby bolts drain your HP, so you don't want to be using them too much, or you're just using a waste of food supplies. I've hit like 15 zeros on the <laughs> <laughs> Hey, let me know if you need me to, if you need me to come as a big hair and uh, demonstrate. <laughs> okay, so then you get the drop, like so. Then you want to <clears throat> wait about 15, 20 seconds, something like that. Sometimes I want to slap you. <laughs> okay, so to do the Callisto look, you get Callisto, and you just run down here. Similar method to last time, you run behind this rock, and Callisto should be lured into place. Run up here, to the same place as the other lure, and when you're ready, make sure you have run. Run up and behind Callisto up here. Callisto will aggro you. Makes me love to him. Run round the rock. Wait for Callisto to get pulled up. Run round again, like so. And attack Callisto. And it should be done. And again, you can melee Callisto in this position. But you are unable to melee Callisto in the position I showed you before. Obviously, a BGS is better for this than an AGS because you can reduce their defense because his defense is very high. And if you were a main obviously you'd come here and you would use full Verax. But this is the melee position. But ranged is on the whole much quicker than melee. So I use ranged. Like so. So these are the two positions and safe spots that I use when doing Callisto. Um, I hope this video is helpful and I'll see you in my next one.
Yeah. <laughs>